Scott sent over their Vertic free layer jackets and pants set up for us to test out here in Flakau, Austria. And now we've got a real mixed bag of weather and conditions heading our way. So I'm keen to see how our test team gets on with this technical outerwear setup. Let's get to it. So this is the all new Vertic free layer jacket and pants from Scott. It's got all the right features and fabrics to see you right no matter where on the mountain you manage to find yourself. But I firstly just wanted to mention the eco credentials of this outerwear setup as it's pretty impressive. And it's great to see a company the size of Scott really take responsibility by mitigating their impact on the planet. So Scott's aim is to have a sustainable outlook on everything that they do and most importantly, everything that they produce too. This was clear to see when we checked out their almost fully recycled Superguide LT ski at this trade shows earlier this year. But it's great to see this attitude filter down to their outer range too. But what does this all mean in real terms? Well, Scott are committed to using recycled fabrics in their resource range. In this case, the Vertic jacket and pants are made from 100% recycled polyester, while not using any of those nasty PFCs that cause damage to local ecosystems. This goes far above and beyond many other brands' commitments, so props to Scott for achieving this. Speaking of fabric, the Vertic jacket and pants are made from Scott's in-house dryosphere fabrics to produce a waterproof and breathable barrier from the elements. Scott claims that the waterproof rating of this fabric is 15,000 millimeters with a breathability rating of 10,000. Now that's not award-winning numbers, but it's certainly enough to keep you well protected in all but the worst conditions and sweat-inducing ascents. The Vertic jacket and pants setup is a seriously well-featured bit of kit. Firstly, you've got all the standard stuff you'd expect to find on a free ride outerwear combo, including a powder skirt, lift pass pocket, and a goggle wipe cloth. And these inbuilt cuffs are rarely seen in ski jackets, but we really came to appreciate them out in resort, particularly when it was blowing a gale or just while skiing powder. The jacket has also been designed to remain comfortable while you're wearing it out on short ski tours. Now this is largely thanks to the ability to dump heat with underarm venting and then you've got articulated sleeves that move with you during your stride. And the pants are equally well kitted out too. You've got a handy bib and suspenders that are detachable if you'd rather ride without them. And then you've got a fire pocket and some tough Cordura panels on the ankle to protect the pants from any ski edge or boot cramp on scuffs. We were also out in resort with Scott's all new Bend Plus helmet. It's essentially Scott's take on that integrated helmet and visor system. It offered some really impressive airflow and a seamless connection between the helmet and visor, with some handy magnets to help stash the visor out of the way when you're not using it. Now, integrated goggle systems are definitely an acquired taste, but we actually love the way that Scott has approached this style. Both the jacket and pants feature a regular fit, which we found not to be too restrictive when skiing or touring. Blake, the skier, is 175cm and he's wearing a large to give a nice loose fit. Our test team has been left really impressed by the Vertic free layer jacket and pants. Their waterproof rating of 15,000 is more than enough to survive all but the worst conditions up in the mountains. While the cut, the 10,000 breathability rating and comfort features make the jacket and pants an ideal companion for ski touring missions, all while not costing the planet. Both the jacket and pants are available in either men's or women's. So that's Scott's Vertic jacket and pants setup. If you've got any questions regarding the outerwear at all, or maybe even Scott's Blend Plus helmet, then just drop a comment below and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. And of course, if you're new here, then be sure to click that subscribe button below. Catch you on the next one.